Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you another Let's Play episode of After Class Lars Path. Ah oh, man, I'm never gonna get used to this to this screen. I love it so much. It's so festive. Ah, oh, I love the holidays. Ah, uh, but anyway, guys, let's see what happened in the last episode. Oh yes, we got to meet we got to meet our new teacher, Bunny Girl Senpai. I forget her name. I think it was Jessica Elizabeth. I don't know. <laughs> but then we found this tent out there uh, behind a store and uh, I was re I was reminded of a movie I watched yesterday called Hobo with a Shotgun. It is really really strange and wonderful and gruesome and gory and I just loved it. If you guys like Splatterfest 80s horror movies then it is right up your alley. But anyway guys let's jump right back into it. Alarm chain you're up. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. What is this place? There's a tent here. You looked around and you found a pair of clothes on the ground. You picked it up. These are Lars's clothes. What are they doing here? A whiff of musk hits your nostrils as you wonder why the clothes were there in the first place. It wasn't bad, it just smelled like him if that made any sense. Hmm. This must be his laundry. What is, why doesn't he just wash them already? I think there's even a laundromat down the street. You look around his laundry. It seemed like you were touching his underwear. The realization that you were touching his underwear and basically smelling what Lars smelled like without bathing hit you all at once. Curious, you sniffed his underwear. Oh my god. From a... How do you smell that from a distance? I feel like your pants were getting tired. <laughs> oh, I, I pr probably should go back to the other side of the building. Uh, maybe he came back. You put them back on the ground and decided to look around a little bit more before going back to where you were earlier. You leaned against the wall and nervously waited for Lars. Did he camp there? I wonder why. And where is he, really? I can't find him anywhere, and I've been waiting for a while. I hope he shows up soon. I want to go home. Hey! As you contemplated and complained, you heard a familiar voice calling out for you. Uh, uh, oh Hey, Lars! What are you doing here? I, I was waiting for you. Hmm? You... so you said that you wanted to tell me something, right? Ah, right. So what did you want to tell me? Well, first of all, I'm sorry I didn't show up yesterday. Oh, right. Where were you yesterday? I was taking care of something. What something? It wasn't important. He grabbed something out of his pocket and handed it, and he handed something to you. Here, you drop this again. Oh! It was your pendant, the same pendant you dropped two days ago. Jeez, I didn't know I dropped it again. Don't be so careless next time. You put the pendant inside your pocket. <laughs> okay, I'll try. So, is this why you wanted to talk to me? Yeah. Oh, okay, thanks for finding my pendant, Lars. It's no problem. Say, how long have you been here? Not too long. I just arrived a while ago. I see. Did you... Did you go there? What? To the back of the building. Admit, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm not gonna lie to him. I'm sorry, I did. I got a little bored, so I checked the building to see if you were there or not. Then I discovered a small path, and I saw a tent. I see. It's okay. He patted your head and invited you to go back to the building with him. Here we are. You can sit on that rock over there. He sat on the ground in front of the tent. As you sat on the rock, you noticed that he stared at the clothes next to him. He looked nervous and quickly tossed them inside the tent. You were scared that he'd find out about what, about what you did earlier, so you didn't say anything. Um, you can sit here if you want. I don't mind sitting on the ground. Huh? It's okay. I'm good. Uh, okay. I can't offer something. You, I can't. I can't offer you something nice though. Just enjoy what you have right now. Oh, it's cool. Um, so do you sleep here? Yeah, I do. It seems comfortable and uncomfortable, though. <laughs> it is uncomfortable. But it's what I have at the moment, so it's not that bad. I've never slept outdoors before. It's not the best, but being one with nature is great. I bet. I love going to the mountains. Mountains, huh? Yes, what about mountains? Ah, uh, nothing. Just brings back old memories. Nothing important, though. If you say so. Well, actually, what do you do other than sleeping here? Hmm, not that much. I stay outside most of the time. Um, how about restroom and stuff? I just go to public restrooms. If I really have to go right now, I'll just, uh, do it right here. Do it right there. He pointed his finger at a secluded area. You could see a small stream behind the bushes. Ah, okay. What about you? Where do you live? I live near here. Mm-hmm, you told me that. But where, exactly? Eh, I can just show you if you want to. Sure, show the strange homeless guy you just 
you just met a couple days ago exactly where you live. <laughs> uh, stranger danger. Sure. Let's go then. It's not that far from here. Huh? Right now? Alright. Both of you left the place and headed to your house. Here's where I live. I see. It really is not far from where I stay. I can even see my tent from here. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice it. You want to go in? Hmm, can I? Yeah, I don't see why not. All right. You unlock the gate door and headed in together with Lars. Lars into the living room, looking nervous and cautious. Yeah, pardon the boxes, I just moved in not too long ago. It's fine. Have a seat. Do you want anything to drink? Hmm, you don't have to. It's fine. Just think of it as a thank you from me. Uh, okay. Plain water is fine. Huh? Plain water? Uh, okay. Then I'll be back in a bit. Make yourself at home. He nodded. Wait, what kind of plain water? Warm or cold? Who drinks warm water? The fuck? What kind of question is that? You don't drink warm water unless you're drinking tea. Or coffee. <laughs> warm water. No offense to anyone who drinks warm water. I just don't see the appeal of it. Cold should be fine. Unless you're, like, freezing or something. All right. Hmm, let's see what I have. I can't just give him a glass of water. I think I can make grilled. I think I can make a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm not a good cook, so let's hope I don't burn the kitchen. Come on, man. Everybody knows how to make grilled cheese. Let's play it safe. I have a guest that came over. I can't afford burning the whole house. I mean, if you don't want to use the stovetop, you can always use a microwave. Well, I don't want to burn my house either way. Either way. Oh, guys, that reminds me. I made a triple stack. I made a triple, yeah, triple stack. Oh, well, not really triple stack. I made a uh, grilled cheese with three slices of bread and two different kinds of cheese on each slice. Oh, my God. A little bit of melted butter in the middle, too. It's like, oh, my God. It was delicious. Oh. Oh, God. Sorry. I'm getting all worked up over here about some food. Well, I don't want to burn my house either way. You took your phone out of your pocket, opened the browser, and looked for grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, I found an easy one. He prepared several slices of bread with butter and some slices of cheddar cheese in between. Alright, it says I need to preheat the skillet over a medium heat. A few minutes had passed, and you'd been watching the skillet with your utmost focus to make sure nothing went wrong. And put them on the plate. Done! Whew! I'm glad I didn't burn the kitchen. You put, on the, you put the plate on the table, and you open the fridge. Let's see... I don't really have anything other than plain water, actually. You grabbed a glass and poured cold water in it. I think that's enough. You headed to the living room with a glass of cold water and grilled cheese sandwich on a tray. Th sorry for the what? Oh. Lars was sleeping on the couch. He looked tired. There were wrinkles under his eyes. His hands were rough, and it looked like he had just dug something up with his fingers. He suddenly snored lightly, making you flinch. Uh oh, I need to put this on the table. After you finished examining him, you put everything on the table, and the sound woke him up. Oh, oh goodness, I'm, I I'm sorry. It's okay, I didn't mean to wake you up. Um, I brought you some grilled cheese sandwiches and a glass of cold water for you. <laughs> Thanks, Henry. It's no problem. I hope they taste good, though. I swallowed the recipe, but I feel like I failed at it. Hmm? N nothing. Enjoy. <sighs> if you say so. He grabbed a slice and sniffed it. He looked eager at first, but he hesitated to eat it. D does it smell- does it not smell good? No, that's not it. He looked, yeah, he looked at you all over and back to the grilled cheese that was on his hand. He started doubting about whether he lied about it smelling bad or not. What is this day? Call me chef. Oh, okay, cool. You're not eating? Um, yeah, sure. You grab a slice and a bit. You, you grab a blah blah blah. You grab a you grab a slice and bit it reluctantly. The taste initially confused your taste buds, not because it was bad, but you weren't expecting it to be perfectly edible and tasty to boot. If you thought it wouldn't be at least edible, why didn't you taste it beforehand? And why would you serve something inedible for the person you're trying to impress to begin with? Huh? It tastes better than I expected. Aside uh, aside of you being impressed slash confused about your own food, Lars chomped it down in one go, making him choke. Whoa! Easy there, tiger. You'd prefer someone to not die while you're being being the host of said person. So you handed him a glass of water and he gulped it down. Ah, that is the spot. Can I have another? Not, oh, yeah, help yourself. Eat slower this time, though. Okay. But well, Marcy's hungry. He's huge, though. He's eating something. He's not starving. He's gigantic. 
He ate all the grilled cheese sandwiches somehow. There was this teeny feeling of pride within as you watched him eat. Ah, they were great. Thanks, Henry. H how hungry were you? N not that much. Is that so? You stared at him. Y yes. Hmm, okay. What are you going to do after this? I'm going back. Uh, back to camping? I suppose that's a way to call it. Hmm? Ah, nothing. Right then. W what? I forgot to ask for your number. My number? You know, phone number. He looked nervous and started stuttering a little bit. Uh, I don't remember m my n number, and I, I don't have my phone with me right now. Huh, that's too bad. You can always go there to check whether I'm there or not. I suppose I can do that. Yeah. It's still early. Why don't we chat here a bit? Ugh, I need to go home and clean myself, actually. You can take a shower here. Huh, I didn't have anything to dry off with. You can use my towel. A, a new one. I have a spare towel. I can't do that. I really don't mind. Let me grab it for you. Stay here, okay? Okay. You went to your room to grab him a towel. You looked inside the closet to find a new towel for Lars. Ah, there it is. Looking at your closet now, you realize that you brought a lot of things with you from home. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'll end up using half the things here at all. Huh. I kind of forced him to shower here, didn't I? I can't help it. He looks so tired and beat up. Is that what camping does to you? Jeez, I'm not sure if I want to do another outdoor camping after looking at Lars. With fresh towel in hand, you head back to the living room. Lars was sitting on the couch. Judging from his head movement, you could tell that he was still curious about your house. Remembering what happened yesterday, it's best that you didn't approach him without letting him know of your presence, so you let out a small cough. His ears perked up and he went stiff, now sitting still instead of looking around with his head. Here you go, Lars. It's new, I promise. Th thanks, Henry. Mm hmm Don't mention it. He stood up and headed to the hallway. Not long after, he went back to the living room. Uh, where's the bathroom? Oh, it's on the right, first door in the hallway. Uh, okay, thanks. <laughs> With Lars in the bathroom, he picked up the dishes and headed to the kitchen. Well, it's gonna take a while. I have yesterday's dishes left untouched. He put the dishes in the sink and started cleaning them, along with the ones you left off yesterday. Done! Let's head back to the living room. As you walked past the bathroom door, he had a slightly naughty thought. I kinda wanna peek inside. Let's not. He kept walking toward the living room. Finished doing the dishes, you sat down on the couch. Phew, I'm tired. You grabbed the TV remote control and turned on the TV. Loud rumblings accompanied by mysterious earthquake in Harasu Village. Locals call this phenomenon the Giant of Harasu. This once peaceful village is now a hotspot for curious tourists. We'll see if we can get some information from the tourists. A news anchor was walking around the village, and he stopped near a fountain. He approached a tourist and started asking questions. Hmm, interesting. He decided to watch the news regarding the Giant of Harasu. <laughs> Sometime later... Hmm, Lars is taking too long. You raised your voice to make sure Lars heard it. Lars, are you still there? He didn't reply. You waited for a little longer, and he still hadn't replied yet. Is he okay? Should I check on him? Oh yeah, we gonna get some penis. No, stop it. Bad thoughts. I'm kind of worried. Let's see if he's okay. You knocked on the door. Hey, Lars, you okay there? H hey. Oh, okay. The door suddenly. The door opened suddenly. Lars stood in front of you without his shirt. Ah, that feels good. Uh, oh. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> he ran to the bathroom and slammed the door. That's. You decided to go back to the living room. <laughs> you sat on the couch, thinking about Lars' shirtless body, his belly, his chest, his nipples. You ever really have a thing for nipples, don't you, man? <laughs> you can feel your blood rush to your face. That was shocking in a good way. You shook your head, trying to compose yourself. Uh, okay, calm down, Henry. You took a deep breath, trying to think of something else, and it worked. A few minutes later, Lars came back with his shirt on. He sat down next to you on the couch. I, I put the towel in the washing machine. Uh, you didn't have to do that. Thanks for letting me shower here. It's a lot better than cleaning myself near the camp. Is that so? Why don't you go home and clean yourself? Well, I don't... Wait, what do you mean? You're camping there, aren't you? Why don't you just go home and shower, then go back to the camp? Uh... He sighed and ruffled your hair. I'll try to do that. So, you're going back now? I'll stay here for a while, if you don't mind. Sure, you can stay here whenever you want. Okay. He looked at him. 
he looked better than earlier. He looked more energetic. His fur looked pretty nice. He relaxed his body and slumped onto the couch, watching the news about the phenomenon in a certain village. He snorted several times during the news report, possibly to show disapproval. Is that even real? What is? The giant of Harasu. I don't know. It sounds fake to me. Why do you say so? Loud rumblings accompanied by a mysterious earthquake? Those loud rumblings are just the sound of a building and its contents moving. Those tourists must have never experienced an earthquake before. <laughs> yeah. Well, giant or not, I'm interested. That place honestly looks amazing. I won't argue with that, it does look amazing. You watch the TV with Lars. And then... Oh, nice lighting. The sky, the sky has gotten dark, so you turn the lights on. Lars was still sitting next to you, completely focused on the show. Feeling somewhat parched, you got up to get some water in the kitchen. Hey, Lars, do you want some water? I'm good, thanks. Alright. Oof, it's quite dark. Much better. You grabbed a glass of water and drank it. As you gulped down the water, your stomach growled. That means I have to eat something now. There was nothing filling inside your fridge, so you decided to eat out. I feel guilty. I would feel guilty if I went by myself. I wonder if Lars wants to tag along. I'm going to go ask him. Lars was sitting on the couch, still watching the TV. Hey, Lars, I'm going outside to get some food. Do you want to join? My treat. Huh? huh? Eating outside? He stared at the TV for a little while before giving you his response. Sure, if you want me to go with you. Of course. Let's go before it's closed. You grabbed your phone and the keys to your house, as well as turning on as well as turning off the TV. Lars got off the couch and followed you from behind as you unlocked the door. Hmm, a little night raid, huh? It was it was a cold night. The stars were shining bright, and no one was around. No one was around the road. Just you and Lars. Got a piece, got a hair in my eye. Damn it, hair! Get away! Gotta hate that. Lars stayed quiet the whole trip. You tried to come up with a conversation, so you decided to ask what food he liked, what food he wants to get. Uh, what do you want to get when we're there, Lars? Where are we going again? The food court in Publix. Hmm, I've never been there before. I see. He doesn't look like he's lying. I might get something I might get something cheap since you're treating me. I don't worry about that actually. I have a lot of money to spend. My parents send me spending money every month, and I told them not to send me money, but they still did it anyway. So I ended up having more money than I needed. You're one pampered kid, huh? No, my parents just uh I know, I know. I'm just teasing you. You don't look like a pampered kid to me. Why do you guys enjoy teasing me so much? Hmm? N nothing. Just talking to myself. All right. I wonder, what's his story? I'm curious, but I don't think I should ask. At least not yet. Hmm. I don't come here often, actually. At least not, at least not coming here to eat. Didn't you tell me that you moved here several years ago? Yeah. How come you never went here? Hmm. Hmm. I I don't like going to a crowded place. If you say so, let's go inside. Oh, Anders. Uh, let me see if I can remember the thing that I the, the see if I can kind of get my vocals going here. Uh, uh. Welcome to Publix. Oh, it's you. Oh, Anders, doing your shift? Yeah. How's it been? Decent. I'm almost finished. Well, that's good. I'm going to food court now. See you later. Have fun. Yeah, it's a food court. Lars has been following you from behind. He felt like he was tugging on your shirt sometimes. You looked at him, and he looked very uncomfortable. Uh, everything okay there? Y yeah, I'm just not used to this place. Why is it? No reason. Hmm. Let's just find something to eat. Okay. After taking a quick stroll around the food court, you found nothing that really caught your eye. You decided to order fast food. Hey, Lars, is fast food okay? Sure. Then what do you want? He squinted his eyes. He seemed like he had trouble looking at the small text on the menu. Uh, I think hot crispy chicken is fine. Alright. Chicken, huh? You like fried chicken? Very. Since there were already people standing in line waiting for the turn to order, you decided to be quick about it. Some of them are looking at the menu behind the counter. So look at you briefly. The anxiety started rising within. There was no time to waste, so you decided to order the same menu. You ordered two sets of the hot crispy chicken combo. Once it was paid, the time for seat hunting commenced. He looked around. There were lots of people eating here. Couples, families, people who sat alone, you name it. You got it. I mean, they're like, oh man, look at all these seats. Look at all these empty seats. <laughs> Despite the crowd, you managed to find empty seats quite easy. Okay, there you go. I don't really see much of a crowd. I see, like, handfuls of people. <laughs> Once you were seated, you glanced at fidgeting Lars. It seemed like he was really nervous, so you did your best to distract him from what he was feeling at the moment. 
calming him down, in a sense. Moments passed. Lars seemed to be calming down. He started to look like he was enjoying himself, even a little bit. The waiter came with your order, and he put your food on the table. As he did that, you saw that Lars's eyes were following the waiter's hand. Lars's eyes were following the food, to be exact. The food on the table might have a positive effect on his mood. You sure you weren't just hungry? N no I'm just not used to this place. And hungry, apparently. I can see your eyes following the food, Lars. Yes. Anyway, let's eat. I'll have one of these, and the rest are yours. Really? Yeah, enjoy. Thanks, Henry. Don't mention it. You ate dinner with Lars. Nom 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 nom. Thanks for the food. Don't mention it. Um, it's getting late. I think we should go home now. Yeah. You left the food court with Lars. <laughs> Alright. Actually, I'm gonna pause it right there. Alright, guys, it's been a new episode of After Class, Lars Path. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. And until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!